With summer coming up soon, I wanted to talk a little about my favorite type of fabric, bamboo jersey. It's super soft, drapey, light and airy, and really breathable, which is great for summer. And while I personally find it really easy to work with, it does have a little bit of a learning curve at first. So let me give you my best tips for working with bamboo and some of my favorite patterns to use for it. Now I just want to note that these tips and recommendations would apply to some very similar fabrics as well such as modal jersey, rayon jersey, and a number of types of polyester jersey. If it has a lot of drape and it's really stretchy, then these tips and recommendations would apply. Also, I just wanna mention that if you aren't already comfortable sewing with other types of knit fabrics, then I would really recommend checking out some of the links in the description of this video that have some more detailed general tips for working with knit fabrics. So first off, it is super important when working with this type of fabric to use a stretch needle and not a ballpoint or jersey needle. A ballpoint needle will tend to skip stitches on a high stretch fabric with spandex in it like this. Secondly, even if you've already reduced your presser foot pressure in order to sew with other types of more stable knit fabrics, you may need to reduce it even further for high stretch fabrics like this. So now that the main two issues are dealt with, you've got no skip stitches, and you're not stretching your fabric out of shape. There is one other issue that tends to crop up more with this type of fabric than with other more stable types of knit fabrics. You'll find that sometimes when you start sewing it right at the edge, that the machine will eat the fabric. It sucks it down through the hole that the needle goes into. And there are a few different ways that you can prevent this from happening. First, start sewing further in from the edge. So instead of starting right at the edge of your seam, you want to start a little bit in from the edge, make a few stitches, and then back stitch to anchor your stitches, and then go forward again. Second, if that's not working, I have a little trick I like to do where I start with a long straight stitch at the edge. So the first section where I start a bit from the in, in from the edge and back stitch, and then go forward again, I do that with a long straight stitch. Then, once I'm in maybe a centimeter um, or an inch at the most, I switch over to a stretch stitch so I can make sure that my seam is stretchy. And finally, if neither of those things are working, this is my fail safe. Stick a little tissue paper under the fabric at the edge and stitch through it along with the fabric. This will stabilize it and then you can just rip the tissue paper away, leaving a perfect seam. So let's talk a little bit about what types of projects bamboo fabric works well for, and then I'll share with you some of my favorite patterns. So bamboo, because it's drapey, it's wonderful for dresses, it's wonderful for t-shirts, and really for most styles of tops, but you have to note that the fabric is not compressive, so if you're wearing it more fitted, like in the waist area, then it's not gonna smooth anything. It will just drape over the shape of your body. So if you're looking for a smoothing effect, I wouldn't recommend bamboo. Bamboo also works great for lounge pants and shorts. It works great for underwear, super soft and comfortable underwear. But because the fabric is a little on the thinner side, you have to watch out for visible panty lines and also try not to go with a really light fabric for something that's gonna be more fitted to your body, especially your bum, because you probably will get a bit of a transparent effect. But most of what I make is fitted in the bust area and I don't find that it's see-through unless it's a really, really light color. So now onto the fun part. Let me share with you some of my favorite patterns for bamboo fabric to get your imagination running. So first off, the one I'm wearing right now, this is the Amelia Lane Dream Tee. And it comes in a t-shirt length and it comes in a dress length as well. And as you can see, this one is the dress length but I actually narrowed the sides just a little bit so that I could fit the pattern onto one meter of fabric. It comes with this scoop neckline as well as a really deep plunge V-neck. And I have several of these in t-shirt length as well. I love them for bamboo fabric. I'll put the links to all of these patterns down in the description of the video for you. Okay, so this one's also from Amelia Lane. This is the Marina tank and dress and it's got an overlapped band on the neckline. And it comes in a whole bunch of different lengths. This one is a maxi dress, as you can see. And this style is so lovely to wear on a hot day with the slits. This one is the Leia dress by Rad Patterns. And I love this angled side seam that comes to the front. 
And the nice thing about color blocking this back piece is that I actually managed to get this dress out of one meter of fabric. This can be made as a peplum top as well, and it has a ruching option in the front bust. Okay, so last dress, and then I'll show you some tops. This is the Coastal Crossover Bodice by Buttons and Blueprints. And it's got a few different options. There's this crossover back. And then there's also a crossover front. Now, I made both of mine with a gathered skirt, but the pattern actually doesn't come with that. It comes with a butterfly hem skirt, but the gathered skirt is super easy. It's basically just a rectangle and you gather the top. So I tend to do that a lot. And there is actually also another pattern by Buttons and Blueprints called the Summer Staple Dress, which has the gathered skirt in it and it works with the coastal crossover. So you can just use that gathered skirt with the coastal crossover if you would like. And by the way, the summer staple dress looks great in bamboo too. I haven't actually made it in bamboo yet. I've made it in a stable hemp jersey, which is here. Okay, so something to note though about the coastal crossover, you do not want to make it in a super stretchy fabric like bamboo that is not compressive unless you line it with something that is compressive. So I've lined it with an athletic knit and I also put a power mesh in between the layers. So I basically just basted it to my main fabric and then treated it as one layer with the power mesh being the wrong side of the fabric. And so that gave me extra support as well so that I could wear this without a bra in the summer, which is great. Just a note as well that I did raise the neckline just a little bit. So the pattern piece would have come down like this and I just redrew the pattern piece a little bit higher just for my personal preference. Okay, so onto some tops. This is the Pixel Pullover by Genuine Designs. And bamboo actually isn't on the fabric recommendations for this pattern, but I found that it worked really well for it. So this pattern has this unique saddle raglan sleeve that I really like. I think it's really sharp looking. And I love this shawl collar that doesn't come as an option with most pullover tops, but this one is super versatile because it's got the shawl collar as well as your usual hood and cowl and such. This one is the Mabel and it's a sew PDF exclusive pattern. And this pattern comes with a puffed sleeve option, which I don't recommend using bamboo for. But as you'll see in the pattern instructions, it does recommend more stable knit fabrics, but then it also says that you can size down to use bamboo and other types of fabrics like that. So this is size down one from what my measurements would have put me in and it fits really nicely. Nice relaxed sleeveless fit, but no gaping or anything like that. And it's got some really neat circle skirt and handkerchief hem options in a bunch of different lengths. So this is the Versatility, also by Buttons and Blueprints. And it's got this boat neck option, which has a facing on it instead of a band. But it also has some banded scoop and v-neck necklines. I didn't do ruched sides on this one, but it does have a ruched side option, which looks great. But I did do the ruched sleeves on this one. So this is a little more fitted than most patterns I use with bamboo, but it's not so fitted that it's showing off lumps and bumps or anything. It just, it just skims the body nicely with a little bit of ease. This one is the Twist and Slouch by Rocker by Destash, and I love that this pattern takes advantage of the fact that bamboo fabric does not curl at the edges. So it leaves the edges raw and it gives it a little bit of this distressed look. So it's not gonna fray, but it does have a little bit of like a pilled effect along the edge, which suits the style of this top really nicely. And I have another video on how to sew the twist in this pattern that you can check out. I'll link it in the description below. This one is the Divine Dolmen by Buttons and Blueprints. And I love the oversized drapey effect of this one, very similar to the twist and slouch, but without the raw edges and the twist and such. And it's got a curved hem option as well as a band at the bottom. And this is the Copeland Cardi, which comes with a bunch of different options. And I probably wouldn't choose to wear it over this t-shirt, but it looks great over dresses. And it's got a bunch of different options. It can tie up top, it can tie further down, or it's got a ballet wrap option that ties on the side as well. And I would size down, I did size down on this one to sew it with bamboo. So underneath, this is an elemental tee. This is a free t-shirt pattern from Buttons and Blueprints. 
And this is a zero ease pattern, so it's meant to fit the body quite closely. So depending on how comfortable you are with that, you might want to size up or just grade the waist out a little bit to give yourself a little bit more room. The basic elemental tee is free, as I mentioned. I did a separate video all about the elemental tee that shows you how to get it for free and tells you about some of the features in the Elemental Tea Deluxe, which is a paid pattern, but it has a bunch of options that would be great with bamboo as well, including a flutter sleeve and a peplum and a number of other options that work great with bamboo. So if you wanna check out that video on how to get the free t-shirt pattern, along with a full tutorial on how to sew a t-shirt, then you can check that out here. Thanks for watching and let me know if you liked this style of video and would like to see more videos about how to work with specific fabric types and some recommendations of patterns to use with it.